Hey everybody, prepping this one here. Um, today is Tuesday, November 18th. Um, and here's Eddie. Eddie, say hello. Hi. He stayed home from school today. Got the fire going over here. Um, it, uh, let me just, the average temperature this time of year up here in New York is normally 48 degrees. So um, right now it's a, a balmy 19 out. And uh, I don't know if I do it this way if you guys can see. We got snow on the ground. And uh, the wind is blowing pretty good out there. Um, we actually got lucky. Um, the wind chill, with the wind chill, I think they said it's about 8 degrees or 3 degrees, something like that. But let me come out here and I'll show you out front here. So we got, now you can see by the flag how the wind is blowing. And uh, it's a raw, raw cold day. I mean, we did not get a lot of snow here. We we're lucky because um, south and west of us in Buffalo, they're getting hammered. I mean, hammered. The throughway is shut down in Henrietta all the way to Dunkirk, which is a really, really long stretch. Um, you can't travel on the throughway at all. Um, the weather is just miserable out there. So, um, you know, what are you going to do? It's just a, it's a, it's a cold, cold day, and that's what happens. But uh, so, yeah, Eddie's homesick, so we're. Uh, just kind of chilling out and uh, trying to stay warm. Um, one of the other things I was going to talk to you guys about, and I forgot to talk about this in my last video, um, when uh, when you have to, uh, one of the other things about a community that I that I had forgot to discuss about. I want, I'm going to use the uh, the Vietnamese and the Chinese and um, you know as, as examples. Um, the Chinese will come over to this country with their families and they'll buy a house and they'll all live in the house. So they'll have like, you know, 10 or 12 people in the family, you know, brothers, sisters, mom and dad, um, you know, the kids will all be there and then they'll go and they'll, you know, get a restaurant and everybody in the family works at the restaurant and they save their money. They pay the house off in no time because they're pooling their expenses. And um, so that's kind of like my, my thing with, um, you know, a community on my property. If we pool our expenses, and it doesn't mean that, you know, you work and you give me your money. That's not what I'm talking about at all. What I'm talking about is like, um, like an example. I'm, I'm going to have internet for sure when I get at the property. I, I need to have internet. So... Let's say um, high-speed internet up here cost like 90 bucks a month. I mean, it, it's expensive. So we have high-speed internet, or not 90. I don't think it's 90. What, what, it's it's expensive. But so let's let's we'll use that as an example. Let's say it's 90 bucks. Okay. Um, the the cable bills these days are ridiculous. I mean, to have just the basic cable and uh, you know the, the internet. In high-speed internet, it's very expensive. But let's let's just go with a hundred dollars a month, just for, as an example. And uh, let's say you have four families living on the property. Well, what you do is you you know you have one internet password code thing, and all four families use that. Everybody pays twenty-five dollars a month. So now they cut your expenses down, so you have more money freed up to do other things which is save your money, um, you know. I realize that, you know, say somebody comes to the property in a community sense and they stay there six months, seven months, and it's not for them. But they work, have a regular job, and then they, you know, work with the group and help, the, you know, better the property. They're saving money because they're not paying rent. They're splitting the costs of Internet. And, um, you know, it, it, everything like that, you know, and then, you know, obviously they would be buying their own food, but, you know, it keeps the expenses down. 
and there would be no gas and electric bills because everything would be on solar. So, you know, and then we would be heating with wood anyway. So, this is what I'm talking about when, when I'm, when I, one of the things that I talk about with community. If you're working and you have a job and you have money coming in, most of your money is going to be freed up to do whatever you want to do with that money. You know, so those are the benefits of community. Um, plus the safety in numbers, you know, doing projects together. And if you wanted to stay on the property, you'd stay on the property, you know. If you wanted to build something on the property and have your own little place, as long as, like I said, my, my thing is this, you know, as long as you weren't somebody that was a, a nasty, rotten, miserable person, which I, I wouldn't want that kind of person around for a day, okay? But working together, sharing expenses to keep the bills, the cost down, you know, Having your own place on the property that we all build together to help, you know what I mean? Those are those are important things, you know? And you can't do these things by yourself. You you can, but it takes a lot, lot longer. But working together, sharing expenses is a huge, huge benefit of community as well. So um, I wanted to share that with you guys. I had forgot to mention that yesterday. And I'm going to tell you what. I respect the Chinese that come over here and work like that. They're, they, we have a restaurant... Um, not that far from us here in Greece, and uh, they do exactly that. And it's all family in the restaurant. I mean, they even have the little kids there at the restaurant with them, you know, the babies and stuff. And so, and it's all family working there, you know. And they just they work their butts off. These people are not afraid to work 16 hours a day, and you know. And it's like unfortunately, in in this day and time, a lot of people in this country were lazy. We don't want to work. Nobody wants to do anything anymore. And, and that part of it is very, very sad. So, um, but uh, getting back to uh, what's happening over near Buffalo, in some areas they're getting up to three feet of snow. I mean, this is just, the weather this early, this cold, it's crazy. And I know that they're saying that by the weekend we're going to catch a break and it might be back into the 40s and 50 um, on Sunday, which would be nice. Um, I definitely need to get back up to the property. I'm sure that if I went up there today, because I had thought about it, but with the way the weather is right now, it, it, there's no way I'm going to go. Because, you know, there could be six, seven inches of snow down there, which is going to make it tougher. But, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, it's, uh, so I'll probably wait and uh, go up like maybe on Saturday and, uh, you know, take care of things then. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you, that it's miserable up here. And I know it's miserable over most of the country. Um, it, it's, it's incredible how cold it is so early. And, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to give you a gauge. I mean, it's 19 degrees out right now with the wind blowing. So with the wind chill, I think it's like 6 degrees or 9 or something. I'm not exactly sure how they figure it out. depends on how hard the wind's blowing. But it's not nice. It's a nice day to just hunker down. Um, there's people stranded in their cars on a throughway that, uh, you know, they can't get out. And uh, th these are one of the emergencies that I talk about, you know. Um, you're in your car and you're driving and you get caught up in foul weather. Now, what do you got in your car that's going to help you survive? You know what I mean? And it's like that's why I always keep a lot of things in my vehicle, um, you know, just in case some kind of emergency like that happens, especially here in upstate New York. It, this is the time of year. You can get stranded. They even tell you to keep a kit in your car to help you. So anyway, so that's it. I wanted to share it with you, um, share our wonderful Rochester weather, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Proper nurse went out for now. And I hope you guys can hear this better. I know some people said that they were having a hard time hearing. So let me know if you can hear me better on this video. All right, thank you very much. Proper nurse went out for now.